Peggy 12. My name is Professor Fat Shady, and this is the University of Trials. In today's lesson entitled Back to School, we're going to go through some detail about the writing controls, talk a little bit about the objectives of the game, and then finally wrap up with a brief discussion on each of the bikes. Are you ready to go? Well, let's get straight into it. Trials Fusion can best be described as a game that's easy to learn, but hard to master. The game provides you with a number of tutorial levels to teach you the techniques you need to learn when you need to learn them. Welcome to the Samsara Industries Training Program. Level one. There are four of these tutorial levels that are scattered throughout the game, starting with beginner and progressing all the way to the hard tracks. But for people that have never played Trials before, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of how the controls work. The left analog stick allows you to manipulate the rider's body position. Leaning forwards or backwards throughout the game allows you to tackle any obstacle the game throws at you. Using the left trigger to either brake or reverse, and the right trigger for gas or accelerate allows you to progress your way through the game. Once you understand all of this, it's pretty amazing to see what you can do with the bike and what obstacles you can overcome. Using only these simple controls, you'll progress your way through the game, and while it may look simple to get from one end of the track to the other, the challenge and the beauty of this game is being able to get through increasingly difficult tracks the fastest way possible. Now that we've talked about the controls, it's important that you understand what to do with them. So, let's now talk about the objective of the game. When Trials Fusion starts, you'll only see Greenhorn's Grove unlocked. This is a grouping of beginner difficulty tracks and you won't be able to proceed until you've earned more medals. There are four types of medals, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. You'll earn these by completing the game with the least amount of faults in the fastest time possible. But, Professor Fat Shady, what is a fault? It's a good question. A fault can be described as a problem or a bad part that prevents something from being perfect or, as we say at the University of Trials, falling off your bike. Faults are an inevitable part of the game. You'll fault early and frequently. The good players learn from each one and continually look for ways to avoid them the next time around. As you improve, you'll unlock more medals and this will unlock more content and more difficult tracks. But be warned, advance too quickly and you'll be punished. I can't wrap this up without talking about competition and what this does for the game. The leaderboards are a crucial part of the experience. Not only does this allow you to track your own personal best for each track, but you can, and should, compete against your friends. You even have the ability to set a rival marker so you can target specific players. When you do beat them, don't forget to rub it in. It's always great when you beat a friend's time, but at the University of Trials, we don't just want you to be good, we want you to be great. So, now let's discuss the tools of the trade, the bikes. There are six bikes available to you within Trials Fusion. These are gradually unlocked as you progress through the game. The baggie is your learner's ride. It's slow, but it lets you get a feel for the game. It's pretty forgiving, but don't expect to set any records with it. I'd suggest you use this bike as you're getting familiar with the different riding techniques, but once you've got a handle on it, progress to one of the faster bikes. The Foxbat is a dedicated freestyle motocross bike. As I plan on covering freestyle motocross in a future lesson, I think we might just leave this one here. The Roach is not fantastically agile or quick to accelerate, but it makes up for this with a high top speed. Manage to keep a smooth driving line, and you'll see why this is the go-to bike for beginner through to medium tracks. It's fast and a lot of fun. The TKO Panda is the most recent addition to the Trials franchise and the first time we've had all four wheels on the ground. When you ride this quad bike, you'll immediately feel its weight, but while it may be a bit chubby, as the description says, it's colossally powerful. There are a number of tracks within the game that are dedicated to this quad bike, so you'll have plenty of time to get acquainted. One thing to note is that this is a four-wheel drive bike, and you will find yourself at times using the front wheels to pull yourself up and over an obstacle. The Pit Viper is the classic trials bike and fan favorite. It's quick to accelerate, agile, and can pull off some technical maneuvers. I'll warn you though, this is not for the new players. It's unforgiving, so make sure you've mastered the core concepts before you try to ride this one. The Rabbit's great. It's a BMX bike and tons of fun. It's insanely grippy, so you'll have no trouble climbing up hills, but be warned that it is incredibly twitchy. Don't give it the respect it deserves, and it'll throw you off without any warning. You gain heaps of agility with this one, but you do lose some top speed. Primarily, I assume, because the poor rider's legs can only pedal so fast. Well, that brings us to the end of lesson one. 
be sure to stick around because in lesson two, we're going to talk about customization, we're going to talk about the new trick system, and finally discuss the track challenges. See you then.